What's up guys? How's it going? It is Matt here. So uh, we're going to be talking about a carry technique that I've kind of been putting on the back burner and I haven't really thought much into until recently. And uh, I'm going to tell you is right now, um, this is the most comfortable carry technique I have ever had to date. So we're going to be start talking about shoulder holsters. Let's get into it. Now, if you followed me for any period of time, you know that I prefer inside the waistband carry. I'm a concealed carry guy. I always use inside the waistband. That's just how I've always rolled. For me, I like the fact that the inside waistband has got to remove a cover garment and you have a really quick to access the firearm, whether it's appendix or strong side. 90, I'd say 80% of the time I carry a strong side. The other 20% is going to be appendix. So I've always been inside the waistband carry. And ever since I've done the channel, I've been talking about full-size carry. And one of my first videos I ever took off was uh, how to carry a full-size pistol. Um, when I first started doing my videos, the very first, one of the questions that everyone was asking me, well, what do you think of shoulder carry? Having a shoulder holster, a shoulder holder, a shoulder holster. So I didn't have a ton of experience with it, except for one really bad experience I had with a shoulder holster. Um, I was overseas. It was my second tour in Iraq. I was a 203 gunner. Um, so I didn't have a uh, pistol issue to me or anything like that. But what happened is uh, when we were attached to Joint Special Operations Command, well, we were attached to a MU, but technically we were working with uh, Joint Special Operations Command. We fly out in CH-46 helicopters and touch down in the middle of nowhere, do a vehicle checkpoint. And as a 203 gunner, my specific job, because a grenade, a grenade launcher isn't that most effective, isn't very effective on a, uh, you know, big open road where you're surrounded by people with machine gun, with actually a couple of machine gun positions and stuff like that, like a quick little setup positions and a bunch of rifles on it. Uh, 203 isn't the greatest situation for something like that, especially when cars are maneuvering. So my primary job as a 203 gunner was help move concertina wire from the helicopter to the actual <coughs> the checkpoint we're setting up. And then I would switch out my M203 for a Beretta. And M9 is what we had at the time. I'd switch out. I'd switch out for the Beretta and I'd search vehicles. So my specific job for those checkpoints was a vehicle search guy. So I was pulling everything out, pulling out cushions, checking for stuff, checking for switches, checking for you know firearms, whatever I could. That was my specific job on those vehicle checkpoints. So I'd always switch out the pistol. I didn't have one issue to me. And at first I started out with a drop holster that they would use and it wasn't the most comfortable for me. So then I, one day I went to the PX that was on the base and all side and I found a crappy shoulder holster. I'm like, all right, I'll give this a shot because I've seen other, you know, I've seen Pogues using it. So we'll see if this will work. So I had my flak jacket on. I put it on there. I fit it up the best I could and I set up that M9 and it was bouncing and flopping around. And when I'm trying to search, it's bouncing all over the place and it was not comfortable and it was digging into my neck and I had to keep shifting along the ways because you had your big old flak jacket with your protective neck protecting up there. So I wasn't a big fan of the shoulder holster. And so I always looked at it as like, you know, it's just not a good carry technique. But people keep asking me about it. What do you think about shoulder coaster? So I figured I'd throw in some money, go get a shoulder holster. And then I test it out myself. And then I'd come here and I'd do a video on it. So, and I'm going to tell you, like I said in the very first start of this video, this has turned into the absolute most comfortable way I've ever carried a firearm. Absolute most comfortable way I've ever carried a firearm. <laughs> But there are a couple downsides to it. So anyway, I'll show you the rig that I have set up. So this right here is called a Condor. All right. This is a Condor Tactical. You know, they used to call it Condor. This is a Condor shoulder rig. And this one, they call it their vertical rig. All right. So vertical. Basically, you have the horizontal, which means the pistol sticks this way. A vertical, it sticks some sort of form of up and down. This right here is a setup. So as you see, I have my Glock 19 here. And how it's nice about these, um, I can fit any of my pistols in there. My 1911, my M17, if I take the light off, the Glock 19. A lot of people think these are this is a horrible material, but it really isn't. Um, most time when we're overseas, we don't have fancy Kydex or stuff like that. When we're overseas, we would have this type of nylon right here. And it works very, very well. Um, it works very, very well, especially for different sizes. It's easy to set up on your gear and stuff like this. So this is not a bad material material that this is made out of. Now, a lot of people, when they think a shoulder rig, you got to pay $150 to $200 to get yourself like a, a Galco or something like that. And they make some great rigs or there's custom rigs that are out there. 
But for an average dude like me, when I looked at it, like 25 bucks, I'm like, okay, I can do that. I can, I can do the $25. I can do that. And I looked at it and it looks like it was pretty good. I looked at a couple of reviews on it and it looks like it's pretty good. So we're going to talk about this specific rig right here. So this is the Condor. This is the horizontal or the uh, vertical rig. Now, when this came in the mail, a couple of the straps were a little switched up. Uh, a couple of straps were a little switched up and I figured it out after I was practicing. I'm like, all right, this doesn't feel right. And then I adjusted them. So I'm right-handed. I'm like cross eye dominant, but I'm right-handed. So he's my left eye dominant. Now it has a thumb brake on here. Now when this came from the mail or it came out of the box, this piece right here, the thumb brake was actually on the other side. So in order to grab the pistol, I would have to push my thumb this way and watch what happens to my thumb. You push it that way and then you have no grip on the pistol, which is not the way the thumb brake is designed to use. So I had to pull those places out and it's very easy. This is all Velcro. I could just only pull it out there. It's, it's just a little bit of a struggle because it's really good Velcro. I had to pull it out and I had to switch this to the other side. So now it's the position where it is. So if I pull, all I have to do is push it down like that and I have a good solid grip on the pistol. My thumb is crossed where it needs to go and I can remove it from the holster, pointing it away from my body and put it onto the target. All right. So that was the one thing, one downside that it came with that. Now, what's great about this is it's like endlessly adjustable is why I like stuff like this. You could adjust it a million different ways. No, maybe not a million, but you could adjust it so many different ways for your actual personal body and how you're set up. So that was a little bit thing though. It came out of the box was like that. Now, another downside is when it came out of the box. So you see the two straps here. All right. This strap was actually strapped on the top one and this strap was on the bottom one, which put this holster like this, like literally that far back to the point where I couldn't even reach it. So I, I messed around with it, I felt it up. I'm like, oh, okay, this is the way how you do it. So I adjusted it to this type of horizontal. It's more of an angle now, but I like that, all right? I like that, especially for a smaller frame pistol. It works very well. So I like this because now I put my hand here. It's a true cross draw grab. Very easy to get my hand on that specific pistol, all right? Now, if you see over here, it also has a place for two mag pouches, all right? So I have two of my Glock 19 mag pouches in here. I can throw I can throw 1911 pouches in there. You just gotta tighten this up a little bit more. That's what's great about these. You can go, you can adjust these in various different ways. Now they have very good padding up here, very good padding that's up on the top. So it's actually very comfortable and this stretches. Okay. This stretches, it stretches up here. So when I'm moving, you can actually feel it stretching with your body. It also stretches up in here. You could feel it moving back and forth. You see it on the camera. It stretches very well. So this fits very comfortably on your body, whatever movements you're doing on it. This one also has the belt straps. So we're, the belt straps, the, uh, what do you call it? The man, you know, the manly man overalls. There you go. Cause it's not a shoulder holster. So it makes it cool. Right. So right here, these attached to your back, the belt. Now that's a, for me, that was a big deal. Um, because like I said, the problems I've had with mine, the one I use overseas is obviously I had a flak on, but this stuff was flopping around like crazy. It was so uncomfortable and getting in the way all the time with these straps on it. This actually pulls it close. Okay. It pulls it down tightly. So it's not bouncing around just like this. It pulls it tightly. So this stuff isn't bouncing around and it also counterbalances. So you adjust it. So it counterbalance, counterbalances. Now this material down here is super stretchy right here. It is very, very stretchy right down here. So like I said, once I move up, I move down or anything like that, it works very, very well. Now, I did say there's a couple downsides to this technique of carrying. And the first, the upside is this is by far the most comfortable technique I've ever had for carrying a firearm, especially with a sit down job or if you're driving a lot, this is the way to go. The downside is if you're a fan of concealed carry, in order to carry something like this, wear something like this, you always have to have a cover garment over it always have to have a cover garment over it because there's honestly no other way to conceal it. This is not something you just put under a t-shirt that will blend in. This stuff will be flopping out all over the place unless you have like a 10 XL shirt and it's like a parachute underneath of you. So you have to have some sort of jacket covering it, whether it's a uh, dress jacket or like this is a civilian soft shell jacket, soft shell jacket. All right, so that you need stuff like that. And this is a very concealable technique when it's good in the cooler months, when you, you could get away with just wearing a jacket or something like that. I've worn it under a heavy duty sweatshirt that I have at work and stuff like that. That works very well too. But your average fleeces that like zip of fleeces, it's just, it's just too tight around this general area. So this stuff sticks out too much. So you need something like this that it can actually completely blend into. If you notice, you can't even tell that I'm wearing something like that, even though it's right underneath my arm. 
So that is the one downside to a shoulder rig. Now, where will this fit into my EDC? Um, one, it is, it literally is so comfortable. I almost don't want to switch back. I literally almost don't want to switch back. But the problem is, is the warmer months are coming up and uh, that means I'm not going to be wearing the jackets anymore, right? I'm not going to be wearing all that stuff anymore. So I'm going to get back to the t-shirts and everything else. So this is not going to be a hundred, you know, uh, all year round carry method as much as I love it to. I mean, it's that comfortable as much as I love it to be all year round. It just, it just can't be that method. So for me, this would be kind of a colder month carry technique when I can do. Um, if I'm going to be on a long ride, this would be a good technique for that. If I'm going to be wearing a uh, cover garment over it. And the other technique that this would be for, the only reason I'd be using this would be as for an EDC, for EDC, for SHTF situation or WROL. Yes, um, out here in Connecticut, coronavirus has reached us. Our, ki our kids are out of school. It's in the area. So we're all pretty much almost quarantined. We're not actually officially quarantined, but we're mostly everyone's kind of keeping inside. So is it technically an SHTF situation? No, not quite. Emergency services are still running. Let's hope it stays at this. Let's hope this coronavirus comes in and out and just goes away. But let's just say it was a zombie apocalypse. If it was a zombie apocalypse, this would absolutely be a carry technique for me. And it wouldn't be for my primary sidearm, all right? Your long gun would be your primary. So my long gun would be my primary. My secondary would be my drop holster. Uh, my drop holster with my M17 and the light on it with the extra mags over here. My backup pistol, my last resort pistol, would be up here and it would probably be the Glock 19. So my primary pistol would be down here. I'd mainly be running a long gun and my pistol with the light would be the primary, but this would be the absolute last resort pistol or something that I needed to give to someone else. And this is a very good method. And, that, and if it comes to a situation like that, you don't need concealment anymore. So that's how I would use that. But anyway, guys, there you have it. So this is by far the most comfortable carry technique I've ever found to date. Um, Condor, um, they make good stuff. Condor Tactical, they make really good stuff. A lot of people think they're an airsoft company. They make good stuff. All right, this is military grade stuff. I mean, it literally is. It's military grade stuff. It fits well. It's very comfortable, very adjustable, and is a good option if you have no issue wearing a cover garment on a daily basis. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about me, guys. Remember, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.